It's just, just your ordinary, ordinary time, time travel, travel equal mass displacement kind, kind of podcast. podcast. Harmless phosphorescence. Everyone, this is Throw Smiley, and I'm here to remind you that secrets leak like the stink from a dead pig. I am joined today by I'm Josh CC, and I'm probably doing rat stuff. I'm Brian Lesh, and it's wet willy time. Help! I'm Alaric Weber, and I can't get up. <laughs> this, is, this is harmless phosphorescence, the podcast where we watch every theatrically released full-length live-action superhero movie ever made. We gather some research into the production and the source material, and we tell you about it. This week, we are watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Turtles in Time. 16th century Japan. Brave men ride into battle. Fighting an evil emperor with their only hope, a golden scepter that can open the gates of time itself. Now, in their darkest hour, come four brave fighters from another time, another place, another species. You were expecting maybe uh, the Adams family? They're back. And they're back in time. Hey, yeah, check it out! We're in Shogun! Once before, demons defeated my ancestors. Now they've come back for me. Talk about your quantum leap! My cannons can destroy these monsters, my lord. Uh-oh, this doesn't bode well. I love this stuff! How are we gonna get home? Oh, oh. Silver. Somebody dial 911. Rescue I've ever had. I think it's swallowed a frog. I hope it wasn't an ancestor. New Line Cinema presents Allegorama. Shawee! The Four Greatest Turtles. Hey, alright. Eh? It's not just a job, it's an adventure. Ever to go down in history. It's just your ordinary uh, time travel equal mass displacement kind of thing. Uh, kids. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Help, I'm a turtle and I can't get up. Oh, that's two tags in there. Wow. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Talk about the zeitgeist. Three. That line, I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, my God. Did you remember that from you? Oh, yeah. yeah. From, uh, what's his face? Uh, Urkel. Right. No. Wasn't no, it? it was the medical alert the medical bracelet. bracelet. It was a commercial. Oh, or, oh. not the... Ur- was Urkel it? was referencing the commercial. Yeah. It was like, where's the beef? It became this... And they just kept making that lady fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Until she broke a hip. <laughs> I do remember the commercial also. I just always think of it as an Urkel thing. Uh, um, yeah. So. <laughs> it's all an Urkel thing. <laughs> it's all just Urkel things. That I knew that. Uh, so this movie was released March 19th, 1993 with a running time of 96 minutes. It cost $50 million. Hmm. This is the most expensive Turtles movie yet. I was going to say, yeah, you know, time travel. Um, it it's, ma- it's costly. It is, yeah, yeah, to open the gates of time, <laughs> as it were. Um, it made forty-two point two million. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> I own this movie on cassette. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. When when I watched the trailer before watching the movie, I had high hopes. A fun rollicking turtle adventure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd never Through seen time. it. Somehow, I think it was better. Than the other two, but that's not saying a lot. Uh, I don't know if I agree with you. <laughs> the, the turtles were closer to the uncanny valley in this one. That's true. So they kind of freaked me out more than maybe I remember it was, as a kid. Maybe it was just that there was a premise or a story. You know, yeah, there was okay. You know what? That is fair. There was an the actual second premise. one was like we're going to make our own mutants. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that that was. Um, yeah, no, no, yeah, to be fair, there was an actual plot to this one. There was. I'll give you yeah, that, yeah, yeah for absolutely. What it, for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it didn't necessarily need to be turtles, really, any yeah, sort of plot. Right. Like. Unless there was a good plot. Um, so, hey, we're still playing top 10 of the week. Nice. So, Am I winning? Is this week two? This yeah. is this is the week that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 3 March. premiered in March 19th. <laughs> the powerhouse month of March. In 93, yeah. right? Woo. Um. 
So, um, anyone want to guess where they think it may have opened? Okay, uh, can I ask, um, did they make the top ten? They did make the top ten. Okay. Oh. I'm going to go with nine. Okay. Four. <laughs> okay, um, six. Uh, yeah. Okay, at number ten, we have Aladdin. Oh. Wow. Num- it must have been out a while, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's probably out like a solid year at this point. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, number nine... Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Dang it. Oh. Number eight, A Far Off Place. Is it that Tom and Nicole? Oh, no, that's Far and Away. Oh, that yeah, far and away. right. <laughs> uh, number seven, The Crying Game. Mm-hmm. A Neil Jordan joint. Number six, Falling Down. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's Defense. a heavy movie. Yeah, right. Number five, Groundhog Day. Oh, shit. Wow. Number four, CB4. Did you oh, Chris damn. Rock. I love CB4. That's a movie, man. Did you think you're so smart just because you can read? <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you go see Groundhog Day with us when we skipped school? I don't think school? so. Oh, okay. I don't think it was there. <laughs> right. uh, uh, number three, Fire in the Sky. Oh, yeah. Number two, Point of No Return. Are you kidding me? And Whoa. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 opened at number one for the week. Wow. That's and incredible was still a box office failure. It, right, it didn't make its money. It didn't make its money back. That it had some major fall off. Some major bad word of mouth, I imagine. Yeah. I imagine. <laughs> it's so funny in the <laughs> incredible journey homeward bound like that is a good movie with actual animals right. doing a better job than the turtles. <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> so um this was written and directed by Stuart Giard or Gillard, I'm not sure. Um he wrote and directed uh, Paradise in 1982, Rocket Man in 1997, hmm. and uh, mo- other than that, just did a, a bunch of TV: Border Town, Outer Limits, Charmed, One Tree Hill, <laughs> 90210, um, and a bunch of uh, ABC Family and Disney Channel stuff. And he was not related to the Turtles before this, you know. He no, no. He okay. Did, he I, he was hired on to do this. All right. He came to the table with this script. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. He won, uh, he was an actor in the seventies. Uh, he won the Canadian film award for best actor yeah. for his performance as a journalist in the film, Why Rock the Boat? <laughs> and he appeared in the 1970s Canadian sitcom. Excuse my French. I was in the Canadian version of Rudy. All right. We've got four meters to go. <laughs> this is going to be the best boxing day ever, guys. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I want to watch the Canadian Film Awards. The Oscars are a drag. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a bunch of guys in flannel <laughs> coming up to get awards. It was just the letter Kenny guys. <laughs> oh, Canada playing the, the entire trailer time. trailer park boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the only song yeah. they have up there. <laughs> well, we were just well, listening to American Woman by the yeah. guess who. Oh, Canada and and uh, Alanis Morissette oh. <laughs> singing about Dave Goulier. Goulier. I was going to say Grohl, but that's uh, a different Dave. Yeah. Um, a much cooler yeah. Dave. This movie starred Vivian Wu, best known for roles in The Last Emperor, Heaven and Earth, The Joy Luck Club, and The Pillow Book. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> she, oh, she is one of the original four judges of Hunan TV's World's Got Talent. Oh, the world. <laughs> the world. Uh, we've got Sab Shimono. He was... Uh, ooh. So is he the emperor? Yes. Okay. The yeah. Uh, All right. Lord Lord Noran Nor uh, oh, I have it written somewhere. Yeah, it was a um, weird name. Noranaga. 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 Yes. Noranaga. Um, he has some 1980s style credits in 1981. He's familiar. He uh, played Oriental Bus Boy <laughs> in Cheech and Chong's Nice Dreams. <laughs> All right. Uh, he was in Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> uh, he played. He was in uh, Gung Ho. Oh, 1986. Love Bl- that movie. Uh, Blind Date in 1987, he played Mr. Yakamoto. In 1988, he was in The Wash, Presumed Innocent, um, Three Ninjas Kick Back, The Shadow. Oh, we'll see him again in The... Sh- Wait, no. Yes, no. Yeah, The Shadow, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, The, the Shadow, shadow, right. shadow yeah. coming up. Uh, he was in Waterworld, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> Ice Planet, Samurai Jack, Southland Tales. Um, All right, so there's a scene where he's coming down the steps, and one of the turtles, uh, probably Michelangelo, is like, Wayne Newton. Because he does look yeah, like a Japanese man. Wayne Newton. Oh, my Newton. God. He yeah, he does. So that's yeah. what I meant. Like, that, there's no way that joke was in the script until yeah. they saw that guy, which, you know, I'm not saying scripts can be changed, but it was just like. Yeah, huh. that, that, especially in that scene, man. Yeah. I have oh. to wonder, did they do the voice acting first or did they like do the live animation? And then, yeah. I wonder. Yeah. 
because you know with animated they do the voices first but this <laughs> is gave different. Corey feldman an extra 20 dollars to just be in that suit <laughs> oh all the God. time <laughs> like i took it home man <laughs> like, i don't think they can hear me just keep talking Corey. <laughs> uh Stuart wilson best known for his villainous and supporting roles in lethal weapon 3 the age of innocence no escape death in the maiden the mask of zorro enemy of the state and hot fuzz <laughs> john aylward who uh uh, was in Three Fugitives, uh, Third Degree Burn. Uh, he did some time in Northern Exposure, Third Rock from the Sun, Grace Under Fire. Uh, he was in Armageddon. Who was he in this? Uh, uh, Niles. Miles? Or was Niles? it Miles? No. Miles, not Niles. Miles. Wait, Miles. <laughs> or was there it? was a uh, guy named Miles or Miles? Niles in there? <laughs> Miles. I'm thinking Niles from. Miles was the Frazier? one who betrayed them, right? The British. Oh. Or no, there was Walker who was the bad guy. Right. Was, that was uh that was Stuart Wilson. Uh -huh. John Aylward. Oh, I think John Aylward was the um the chubby the, the chubby guy who was like, Oh, I don't know. No more wet willies, man. Yeah, that yeah, guy. he was oh, the guy yeah. that got all That's the, how you get the wet plague. willies. Yeah, that guy. And his name, I got it. I got it. <laughs> was how would you even know? <laughs> um was Niles. Yeah. Okay, Niles. Okay, yeah. so I was getting him mixed up with um, Casey Jones' guy, who, Elias who, who, Right. Who he... for the who for? Okay, well, the, there's two inexplicable things in this movie to me. Two major inexplicable things. Right. Um. Which um, I don't know, but what when we, we will get to. Yeah, it. we'll no, get to. I it. Know, we'll get to. Yeah, it. I know. What you're All right. So the okay. the Casey Why? Jones look alike was wit. <laughs> yes, wit. Okay. But played by Elias Cook. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Right. Look right, right. alike. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, so this movie uh, has twenty three percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, That's the, gracious. Yeah. 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 The uh, the thummies did so. not review this. Good. I mean, the... So yeah, uh, quickly I wanted to. Um, we had Elias <laughs> Coteus uh, return as Casey Jones, not in the second one. Not he wasn't the, was the first one. one. Paige Turco returned. As April O'Neil. What? Which one was she? she was in the second one? She was in the yeah, second number one. Number two. Yeah. Same April. I thought she was totally new. <laughs> same. No. Yeah. Same. I thought she, it was a totally different. No. She no. looks younger. She had a new haircut. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> that she, was you it. Know, <laughs> she's looking. At, she looks I'm amazing. I'm not face blind. I'm not Alfred, but. <laughs> um. And um, I can't believe it. I was like I even wrote down. I was like they're like James Bonds. Like they just yeah. get a new April every. Wow. Huh. Same and one. Corey Feldman returns he as returned. the, the yeah. voice of Donatello. And I just wanted to real quick, um, what's Corey Feldman been doing between the two movies? He was he appeared in Tubs. Edge of Edge of Honor, Rock and Roll High School Forever, yeah. The Magic Voyage, Meatballs Four, oh, uh, Round Trip to Heaven, <laughs> one episode of Married with Children, mm. Loaded Weapon One, oh, and Step Monster. Oh. Was that with Kim Basinger? No. A Kim My stepmother's an alien? Yes, it's, that, okay. oh, that, yeah. was, that was Kim Basinger. It's okay. funny because, you know, he he was <laughs> really good as a kid actor. You know, he really was. But it's not like he, not like Haley Joe Osment where he grew up and got weird looking and did, you know, like, yeah. he always looked like Corey Feldman. I don't understand why suddenly. Well, being, I mean, because he just stayed being Corey Feldman. Like, Oh, they wanted range. I see. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, but like. Yeah, like that's funny. great. Like like he's great. If like like that's a great character for a fifteen year old. As a thirty year old dude, it's like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I guess. Um, Step Monster. <laughs> he's not Donald Sutherland. Or <laughs> <laughs> Step Monster. I believe the um, the, the Step Monster was played by Robin Riker, the 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 female lead. But the the father of that family was Alan Thicke. Oh my lord. Oh, wait, wait. And did Corey, Corey Feldman play Alan Thicke's son? No. He, uh, I think he probably played Alan Thicke's son's friend. Oh, like yeah, the, co the, the cool His... buddy, the, the boner? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually. Okay, yeah, right. So, like, the burbs. He's great in that. Um, and he's oh, supposed to be a burbs. teenager. He's supposed to be, like, 18, 17, you know. I think, the... I think, it's, I think it's PTSD. I think, the, well, I mean, we all know about what Corey alleges about what happened to him and what's going on in Hollywood, right? Yeah. Right. I think it's a lot of that is yeah. why he faded. Yeah, you're right. Corey Feldman, his character in Step Monster, the name was Flem. 
<laughs> oh, totally the boner. Yeah. Or the or booger. booger. The, yeah. booger. <laughs> the booger, the boner, the fonts. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, I do, however, have a review um, in on March 22nd, 1993, Washington Post staff writer Hal Henson wrote... <laughs> <laughs> You know they how, broke Watergate. <laughs> oh my God. You know how sometimes sequels are better than the originals? No. How, how the second Star Wars film was an improvement over the first, and the second Godfather film expanded on the themes of the first and put them in context? Yeah. Well, that doesn't happen with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. <laughs> well, it's the wow. third one. Godfather 3 sucks. Uh, uh, Jedi. That's a great review. That is. Um, He's like, was there more? Watch oh, the- I'm sure I didn't. Oh, that's all that matters, really. That. That's really all you need to know. Hi, right, watch other things. The last one wasn't great. This one's worse. <laughs> Basically, last one got 35%. This one got 23, Rotten Tomato wise. That is so. Well, didn't just Supergirl got 17? Forgiving of the internet and all the people it who really vote is. on Rotten Tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> In some ways, They're yes. All suspect. Um, so that's really it. There's not a whole lot of background to this movie. They made a third Thank one. God. Um, the mouths look weird as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't watch this one on acid. <laughs> and like, it was a lot like, like they looked a lot more plasticky. Yeah. yeah the texture of their skin was very like and texturized. Ha- yeah. And the weird spots that are all over them now are much more prominent. Yeah. Like they just look different in general. Like they're- they're developing spots. Splinter looked way worse. Yeah. Oh, so much yeah. worse. Um, that, yeah. So creepy. I, I went back and looked at photos because I was like, he used to look so good. The first one he looked um, great. The first two, yeah. he looked he looked great. He looked more realistic. Uh-huh. Um, in this, he looked much more animatronic, um, kind of jerky motion. Uh-huh. He was always, or not always, but most of the time, he was hanging out in one of the the windows right. of the the subway train, mm-hmm. yeah. He, he, oh he, my god, yeah. Because uh, they had to puppet him. He was very Pirates yeah, right. of the Caribbean singing lady. Oh god, yeah. Thing. But he, he moved around in the other movies. He yeah. looked like an elderly Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. Yeah, animatronic. <laughs> like, like he he was an original member of the band, but he broke off, and he's still allowed to say the you know good times band just hangs out in the ditch behind. Like Al Jarreau and the Beach Boys or something like that. You know, he's, just like yeah, he's, he's like he's I'm like I'm a Beach Boy. He's like playing what? the he's like playing the county fair by himself. Like <laughs> uh, this, is, you may remember this one. This is called tur- tur- Turtle Power. <laughs> it's called Happy Birthday. <laughs> I wrote it. <laughs> Want to hear it? Well, here it is. <laughs> um, yeah, he did look a lot worse, and he had nothing to do, and he got reduced. Nothing. To, he got reduced to like a Mister Furley character, like mm, kids, <laughs> like he, time travel. He that's like what... <laughs> translates for yeah. them a few times. A few He's like, times, I right. happen to speak Japanese. All oh, right, yeah, that's kind of his value. In this oh movie. yeah, when the crew, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I like those guys. Yeah, <laughs> those guys. Were pretty, yeah, they were, were the best right. part. Yeah. It was very uh, Bill and Ted. Yeah. Like, oh, very. Yeah, totally. And I was like, those guys should stay in New York and start the Foot Clan. Okay. <laughs> Instead of all these, like, 14-year-old white kids that just keep fucking it up. <laughs> Which explains Casey Jones. And his, uh, and his, lush, back in the his luscious wig. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't shoot that stuff first. No. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's about it. You guys You guys want to get into the movie? Yeah, we better. Want. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, yeah so listen, okay, you, you guys want to get this over with. I <laughs> love this movie as a five year old, and now. <laughs> and that makes sense. This, you know, is, this is the first time I've ever seen it. Same. This is the first time I've seen it over the age of 10, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> 1993, um, I was, yeah, it had to have boobs in it for me to be watching it. So, or at least the promise of boobs. <laughs> JFK. <was so> right. <laughs> I'd be like, turtles? Those are guys. I had all kinds That's of toys. Childish. I had the little Let's watch Ren and the scepter as a toy. I love this. Oh, movie. they made the scepter. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I had like Ninja Turtles dressed like samurai and stuff. Yeah, that it, was, yeah. it was real cool. I, I remember see. those. Yeah, yeah. Could, this was this was also my first viewing. I could totally see how this would be huge with the under seven crowd. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, because now if, if Groundhog Day was out, there's no way that <laughs> teenage uses were like, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's see Turtle Three. Yeah, that sounds yeah. And go we'd Ninja, see go some Ninja, bad go. We have a friend who, yeah, there's, we saw some yeah. bad movies. I was <laughs> just know. about too old for Turtles 2. Turtles 3 had no chance. No chance. But uh, so, um, that said, let's jump into this. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. 
Travels in Time. We open in 1603 in feudal Japan. Empire of the Sun. That first shot with that the first red shot sun. was I really like, good. I, yeah. I was very hopeful it, when yeah. I saw that. It reminded me of Empire of the Sun, Spielberg movie. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. So, so beautiful. yeah. But yeah, the, I was like, wow, Kurosawa made a turtles movie. The, <laughs> right? The silhouettes of the, the horsemen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, riding away from the rising sun. It was, right. With it their, looked, yeah, with their really shogun good. attire. Uh-huh. So you weren't sure if they were human or turtle silhouettes. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know. Yeah, and yeah. then then oh, yeah. then in red on the beach, yeah. and then as soon as the red disappeared and they went out of slow motion, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it was very nineties immediately. Yeah, it zapped you right in. Um, Although horse sword fights are, <laughs> oh yeah, are right, entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> now move your horse around. You'll never take me alive. <laughs> Was, no, all this sword fighting in this was so <laughs> like one, two, three, yeah. four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah there were there were a like couple of sabers. moments later on in the movie where you see people forgetting their steps <laughs> and like totally. turning around and pushing other people out of the way. Right. Or holding <laughs> their yeah, sword. And really, then yeah. It's really funny. <laughs> Uh, a young man's being chased by four samurai on horseback. They go into the woods, and a woman hidden in the underbrush watches as the samurai sword fight and eventually capture the youth and take him away. Smash cut to the subway. In the present, the turtles uh, do some training to rock music until Raphael cuts the electricity to the stereo. Was Tra- that rock music? Training and dancing. Yeah, man, like- that was rock music. That was ZZ Top. What's that? Oh, was it really? Yes, that was ZZ Top. Uh, right. The song was Can't Stop Rockin'. Is that really ZZ Top? From, from the album Afterburner. Holy Ooh. shit. The so ZZ Top before album. Recycling. I think it was Afterburner. I could be wrong. That's the name of ZZ Top. It is the yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that explains all the walking, um, the way that they were walking. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, every girl's crazy about her sharp dress. Man. Yeah. As a, as a kid, I love this scene as an adult. Not rock and roll. They've man. got legs, and yeah. surprisingly, they know how to use them. <laughs> Most turtles don't. No, they have four arms. <laughs> yeah, th- I feel like that was just shot so that they had some good like uh, B roll for advertising and shit. Oh yeah. god, yeah, that was totally just like we want the turtles like doing turtley stuff. Before right, they yeah. have to be in Japan. Yeah, we can't just sell this movie in Japan. Well, everything mm. had to be a music video. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It's Back true. then, <laughs> I noticed though as they were dancing and training when they were doing kicks and flips that their shells um, connected in their crotches from like front to back like a g string. <laughs> right. Oh, or cod piece. Yeah, uh, there was. I know. Like oh. there was no separation for them to oh poop, that's, poop or that's, plea. There that's was not what pee. real turtles are like. No, at all. no, no. No, we've talked about that. Um, yeah. yeah, they they yeah. they they got it figured out. They you know <laughs> were they like that in the other movies? They just tip over. They just I don't over. recall. I don't yeah, recall I them. Say, uh, they, yeah, they poop they out the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, just, they have to sit at an angle. Armholes. They have to pull the. The shell aside, to <laughs> like taking a bra off oh without God. taking their shirt off. <laughs> oh, he's pop- working to poop out the sleeve. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. a poop sleeve. <laughs> yeah, anything can be if you're not a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so Raphael's upset that they're not getting any recognition for their past heroics. Yeah, that is weird. Because well, he has to be yeah. upset about something because he's Raphael and that's the only thing he does. He's tired yeah. of hi- hiding in the sewers and being unappreciated. Yes. Yeah. I like the Joker. Even mm-hmm. though they have a chick who is delivering them groceries. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, yeah he, well, I can't believe that was he, the same girl. He says, nobody knows we're down here. And then um, April immediately comes yeah, down right, the ladder. Right. And just, the other turtle's like, Sue. And They're very teenager. Does she bring all the time? Like, or has she just not been there in a while? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, so she was she going. She looked like a teenager. She was shopping yeah. at a flea market because she was, she was going to go on vacation. Right. Oh, she, right. Was, she was going on vacation. And um, so she brought them like extra stuff. To keep them uh, tied over, tied over while she was gone. I yeah. see. Well, yeah. Fun yeah. stuff for them to play with. Uh, Donatello got a, an old radio to, yeah. to dismantle. Old transistor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, there. The, got a uh, lamp- she got Raph a, a new fedora yeah. and a lampshade from Mikey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, okay, so he, they're all upset that, or Raphael's upset they have to live in the sewer. It's not really the sewer; it's a subway station. Right. Yeah. And it's not that bad. They oh, have yeah. electricity. No, it's pretty yeah. cool now. They're not the Punisher. Yeah. Of, like Tiffany stained glass. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's very yeah, nice. For real. It's very fancy. Yeah. I've lived in dirtier houses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. Um, for Splinter, she brings an ancient Japanese scepter. Uh, which she calls some kind of weird 
Japanese antique egg timer. Yes. That's just been out of flea market. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no previous explanation. Mm. For 300 years. Right. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. 390 Nobody years. else has been able to open the gates of time. Mm-hmm. So these Muppets. Yeah. Who, if who any, can do it just by grabbing it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if at any point someone touches it, like the space-time continuum, they're touching it simultaneously. If someone yeah. at any other period of time that weighs the same amount as them. <laughs> yeah. And are the same yeah. clothes. Is, was that what it takes? Is like being they, they the exact to, same they have, density? They have to weigh the same, yeah. Well, there was some s- the- there was some sort of alignment in the space-time continuum. They, I didn't know this initially, but later there was a timetable. Like they had to go back. 60... Um, 60, hours. 60 hours. 60 hours. Until it yeah. phases out. <laughs> until the, yeah. No, no, he said yeah. until the space-time continuum phases out. <laughs> it's like that closed caption, hyperdrive normalizing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, we cut back to the past, Norinaga Castle. The young man named Kenshin is returned to his father, Lord Norinaga, who berates him, saying he disgraced the family name. Kenshin argues that his father's desire for war is the true disgrace. The <laughs> argument... It's interrupted. And then Miles Standish shows up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's brought tobacco from the New World. <laughs> and smallpox. Yeah. Um, yes. uh, they're interrupted by an Englishman named Walker, who menacingly offers weapons for Norinaga's war. Uh, his, his father orders Kenshin inside, and Kenshin begrud- begrudgingly goes. All right, so I looked it up. So they're not. So this was another question where I'm like, wait a minute, and then they do mention it later on. But um, the first uh, Caucasians to discover Japan were two Portuguese guys in 1543. So they're not that far off, but it seems like England and Japan right. <laughs> sort of are intermingled. Well, okay, so mm-hmm. like the turtles make a point of saying, "Oh, it's in 1600, so they've made right. contact, so they speak English." Right? Why would they? Speak yeah, no, that's not true. English? Famously isolationist. Just yeah, be, for just, real. Just Every, because two nations make contact. Like four, yeah. And, yeah, all right, we'll get village. to it. We'll get to his the, cannons just, and all that bullshit. But, like, they're so impressed by his cannons, and they need his cannons, and they're just blown away. But gunpowder and saltpeter, that came from China. Yes. Yeah. So the Japanese were blowing up stuff way before, you know, yeah. Lord Autumn Bottom or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, inside, Kenshin throws a temper tantrum, and he finds the same scepter that April has. It gets glowy and spinny. Um, so right before he sees that, he sees the parchment. The parchment with oh, yeah. the turtles. Uh huh. With their color. Uh, later bandits. on in the movie, it's said that they are the same beings that attacked the guy's family, his yeah. ancestors. Year, yeah, like hundreds of years before. So were they yeah. prophesied? A hundred or so years well, before. Or yeah. did the Ninja Turtles go back? Is there a sequel to this movie that we just haven't seen <gasps> oh, yet? Oh yeah. Is, were they like? Are take... they known because they went back and now they're known? Well, no, no, no. Because they... that's how we thought time travel was before the yeah. Hulk explained it. Well, we, because before before the turtles show up, there's this parchment that's hundreds of years old in 1603 that has the turtles on it, yeah. and they never explain how the the turtles were known prior to this. Right. No. How could Ever. they have been prophesized? And they even had their colorful, like, they weren't wearing them bandanas, but the drawings had them sort of, like, draped around them. Yeah. Orange, yeah. blue, mm-hmm. purple. Didn't yeah. make any damn sense. It was like <laughs> Casey <on> Jones. <laughs> <laughs> well, color was expensive. So, I, yeah. I was, when I saw that, I was, and then they said that that, I mean, it was obviously from the past. I was expecting at some point in this movie for them to jump back further in time. Exactly. Right. And maybe that was in the script and they just cut it out. Yes. That, I thought that was going to be an element where they went back and forth well, in time. Because Casey Jones. You yeah. Know, that makes sense. That is the second thing <laughs> yeah. that is completely inexplicable. Yeah. Or it would make sense for him to be there so long that he forgets who he is. For him to, like, lose his mind. (laughs) Why is there a dude who looks exactly like Casey Jones? Yeah. They never explain this. Uh, My theory is that it was a contractual thing. Like, he needed to be on screen for a certain amount of time, and somebody forgot. So they just wrote him in as another Or the opposite. Like, why why hire another guy? Yeah. Just cut that dude's hair. True. Just have that one scene where April says, Casey, and that's it. And just play it for Uh, the confusion. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe to give her a false sense of trust. Just like, oh, you look like my 
Oh. My buddy back in New York City. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll trust yeah, you. That's I'll, a storytelling I'll device. I'll break you I out of jail. Of that. Yeah. yeah. Either way, it's... She's very comfortable. It's very... With <laughs> where yeah. she is. No, yeah, she's totally... <laughs> I mean, she, she's annoyed. She's empowered. Yeah. yeah. There's she a is. lot of chatty chicks in 1600s yeah. in Japan. Now, the one thing this movie really does have going for it is it's got a fair amount of... of uh, um, of uh, women representation, yeah, empowerment, yeah, yeah. They're, they're all tough. Yeah. Mulan, she's badass. Whatever yeah. her name was, yeah, the, the, Mitsu. Chick, the chick with the Mitsu? bow and arrow. Mitsu. Yeah. yeah, I like Mitsu. Mitsu soup. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, back in 1993, the uh, scepter's doing the same thing for April. It starts shooting lightning, and she and Kenshin switch time, places, and clothes. It's a man. <laughs> That's what one of the turtles says. That's his exclamation. <laughs> it's, a, it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> no man has can't, ever. can't argue with that. <laughs> uh, he looked so cool. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, he was too. good. He yeah. didn't have enough to do either. The yeah. the clothes switching thing was a a thing that didn't make sense, but did make sense. Right. Um. Yeah. It just to in a movie, you would probably like send them back. You know, they would have their clothes. They would retain their clothes that they were wearing. Right. But. <clears throat> Um, I don't know. On the other hand, scientifically, it's just the organic material that is no, the, the living material that is right. switching places. It's like the if, Hulk's pants. Nobody's ever tried to explain <laughs> clothes until like the 2010s when the, the when Tony Stark explained the nanotech that makes the costumes just sort of appear mm-hmm. on you. But you're right. For decades, yeah. it was like these people have clothes. The Terminator doesn't have clothes. <laughs> Marty McFly's clothes are fine. You know. Yeah, you're right. But he tried to explain it. Yeah. Instead there, of them being naked. Some of the stuff that they try to explain is really detailed, and then some of the stuff is just like, it's cuz. Because yeah. George Lucas. Yeah. Uh, so Kenshin sees the turtles and Splinter, and he faints. Yeah. Talking turtles? Fine. <laughs> talking rat. No uh, dice. <laughs> much like April in the first movie. Right. Um, and Kino in the second. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. The rat freaks people out. Yeah, why is it always the rat that freaks them out? If he was a squirrel, everyone would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, April's captured by Castle Samurai. Back in the present, Kenshin wakes up. It's revealed that he speaks English through some very dubious historical justification. <laughs> Hanging out with some British medieval peasants. Right. Oh, yeah. Walker, like Walker and them. the dudes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He taught, the, he taught Japan English. All of Japan. <laughs> But again, this dude tries to explain it. I can't imagine anybody else writing a turtle script like, why they speak English? Fuck you. It's a turtle movie. (laughs) They speak English. Uh, The turtles deduce that he's from uh, feudal Japan and that he and April switched places. Back in the past, April's accused of being a witch by Lord Norinaga. Um, But Walker sees that she has no real power. She's like, what's with all the macho stuff? Or cut out the macho stuff? Yeah, cut out the macho stuff. Yeah, it's 16. (laughs) And they they, they smash her Walkman, and she's like, I would have turned it off. Right. (laughs) Yeah, it starts playing um, really loudly through the headphones. Really loudly. Very loudly. Um, And then while they're smashing it, we still hear the music playing um, after the headphones come (laughs) out. Um, yeah, I don't think the headphones were ever in. They weren't. I don't think they were plugged not. in when she pulled it out of her blouse. They um, weren't uh, plugged in <laughs> to the thing. <laughs> yeah, at all. I don't think they were. So maybe it maybe it had a speaker on it. There were some early Walkmans okay, yeah. that would have like a little speaker. Uh-huh. God, I missed that. So the Walkman was playing Conga by Barrio Boys. Oh, really? The Barrio <laughs> yeah. Boys. Nice. Didn't they? Oh, I was thinking the Baja Men. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Um, Barrio Boys versus Baja Men. Yeah, there's, there's a remix of the Gloria Stefan. Class, oh. Classic. Classic. Um, um, but I'm sorry. None of the extras, none of these people were like, okay, she's a witch. But you'd <clears> think the Walkman alone, like, I don't know. I wanted better reactions to the technology from the future. I wanted some right. of that, like, Ewok finding C3PO more of an, for the right. More of an awe kind of thing right. rather than yeah. smash yeah. it. Yeah. She's a witch. That's a fucking thing witches have. <laughs> get the, yeah. yeah, we didn't even get the cool rewind sound. Right, you know? playing with it, passing yeah. it Pulling around. The tape out. But, but They're like, they, we speak English. We know, yeah, yeah. we're good, we're no. good. <laughs> we not only speak English, we speak English that is easily understood by people from the 20th century. <laughs> right, yes. Yeah, for real. Not pirate English. Yeah. Right. Not not 1600s English, which was like more like, sh- like that. Gaelic. That's like, yeah. yeah. So 1600s, yeah. 
That's King I mean, George. It, yeah. It is considered modern English, but it would be a very different vernacular than we speak. Very yeah. much so. Yeah. <laughs> Good word, Thoreau. Thank you. Um, so uh, Walker, he deduces that she is not a witch, and he says, she has no power. Let me question her. Then you can roast her, toast her, chop her into tiny little bits, and feed her to the birds. And Noranaga says, no, I want her to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> She must watch. Yeah, that dude's hard. The first two movies. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And apparently Donatello had some sort of flowers for Algernon type surgery or procedure. Oh, he's so much. First first two, he's not so bright. This one, yeah, he's He's making a time machine. Right? Yeah. Uh, Get a real job. Back in the present, Donatello figures out that they have to trade places with others of exactly the same weight in order to travel to the past. He figured that out. And according to his calculations, they have to do it within 60 hours. Otherwise, space-time continuum will be out of sync. Casey Jones... Out of phase. <coughs> out of phase. He, he knows this because, because he's also April's doctor, and they do regular checkups, so he knows exactly how much she weighs. <laughs> he does mammograms for her. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> mid-time travel, they're like, ref! And he's like, oh, I'm actually 120. <laughs> and they go to another place in time. <laughs> yeah, what... Yeah, oh, there's so many times that like they could have, that thing's been around for 300 years. Then they go to 1800s. They yeah, could have gone back no to way the to 80s. Program it. Yeah. yeah, you just hold it and it spins. Yeah, the guy at the flea market never time yeah. traveled. <laughs> Who knows how long he no, had it? No one that weighed the same as him was ever holding it at the exact same <laughs> at, at any point in time. I wish that was a time travel device that we kept. Going forward, it's like I, I'd love to help, but I don't weigh the same as anybody <laughs> who's holding the gauntlet. Hey everyone, Thoreau from Harmless Phosphorescence here with a message for you. Yes, you listening to me talk. Did you know that the Harmless Entertainment Network has a Patreon? That's right, you can join in and get extra fun like a Star Wars Harmless Phosphorescence miniseries, a patron only QA roundtable episode. We have great bonus episodes of audio dramas like Attention Hellmart Shoppers in 1994. But not only that, if we reach our next patron goal will do a monthly bonus harmless phosphorescence about a patron chosen non-superhero movie plus there are great new shows on the way and if you're a patron you'll get to hear them first head over to patreon.com slash harmless entertainment today and for the price of a cup of coffee you too can join our super awesome superhero club now back to the show casey jones arrives to watch over the layer and splinter while they're gone and I'm sorry, there, Mikey, who does explain the clothes thing, like, well, we have to have clothes. And he's got shorts, so uh-huh. he's showing him all the different shorts. And Splinter gets annoyed, and he's like, stop with this scientific debate. <laughs> 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 it's like, shorts? Well, and he says there's no time. Like, time. I mean, there's enough time. There's plenty of time. We have 60 hours. 60 there's plenty hours. of time. Yeah. Like, all we got to do is get in before the 60 hours are over. And then we're back in time, <laughs> right? We have yeah. plenty of fucking time. Yeah, is it? Is it? Um, like, is the clock running sixty hours oh, in yeah, the past we, and the yeah. present? Like, and no. when does it start? I would think so. Yeah. Well, I would think yeah, yeah. simultaneously. But yeah, when does it start? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I mean, just as long as they leave with time to come back before that sixty seconds is up, they should be able to do all the fucking yeah. shenanigans they want, or get stuck back in time. Yeah. Anyways, it's a stupid conversation. <laughs> yeah, so um, now I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> the turtles then use the scepter to warp through time. They trade places with four of Norinaga's honor guard. And the three that switch places with not Michelangelo um, show up in that weird underwear. That weird yeah. white, the, the weird underwear. White underwear yeah. that resembles the shells right. um, that the turtles had. Right. Is that so, stuff a real thing? I don't. Know. It looked kind of like a chef's like <laughs> apron. <laughs> well, sumo wrestlers have that kind of yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Hup type thing. Yeah, I don't know, but the one guy that had the sh- the shorts on sumo, did not have did not have the the underwear. The weird, no, no, wh- the weird white not. underwear. So his underwear. So luckily, time travel doesn't affect underwear. Yeah, luckily. <laughs> Otherwise, they would have been naked. <laughs> yes. Um, back in time, the turtles arrive on horseback in the middle of a battle. During the confusion, Mikey, who's carrying the scepter, ends up riding off alone into the forest and gets knocked unconscious and taken captive by a group of rebels. Um, 
He loses the scepter and is picked up by an unseen person. Back in the present, the transported warriors face off against Casey Jones and Kenshin, but Splinter makes peace. <laughs> the other turtles sneak into Norinaga's castle, dressed as honor guards, although Lord Norinaga is disturbed that his guards have gone missing with his scepter. Walker tells his lackeys to fetch April from the dungeon. Walker. <laughs> British Ranger. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. That ugh. guy came to play, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he was not <laughs> fucking around. <laughs> Uh, um, the turtles have a run in with Walker's men in their search for April. They follow them to the dungeon where the men run away and the turtles rescue April. Their success is short lived, however, as a whole troop of Norinaga's men arrive. This is where Niles gets his first pair of wet willies. Yes. Yes. And this is. <laughs> it's an important part in any young man's life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, this is also, uh, where April runs into Wit, who looks like Casey Jones mm -hmm. <laughs> inexplicably. But yeah. is not. Is not Casey Jones, is not connected to Casey Jones in any way other than being his exact double. And isn't even who he's, he's not even a prisoner, it turns out. Yeah, we find yeah. out later. Yeah, he makes no sense. I don't understand anything about that character. He's the worst. Yeah. Why would you place him in the dungeon as like a narc or, you know what I mean? Yeah, as a spy. To, like <laughs> He was there before she got there. So it was just a bunch of other random dudes in a dungeon like, stay down there and keep an eye on everybody. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, well, was he there or did he come in after April did? I thought he was already there in that cage thing. He might have come in. I don't remember, honestly. All right. right. Yes. Yeah, um, but either way, he's not especially friendly to April. He doesn't try to make friends with her. He's kind of surly, actually. Well, and what information could he be gleaning from anyone? The The whole deal is he's trying to get the emperor to give him gold so he can protect, you know. Mm -hmm. So strange. You put a double agent in a dungeon well, yeah, this in the is, 1600s. That whole plot element was just bizarre. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a, but it's, and it's also a good thing that he happened to look exactly like Casey Jones. Otherwise, April would not have broken him out of the cage to no. go with him. So, it, w which was very coincidental. Yeah, even yeah. though he was a plant. Yeah, very fortunate. Yeah, this movie's he's fucking like, weird. He's like I've been here for ten years. <laughs> Finally, something turned up. <laughs> um, the turtles uh, do battle while April rescues Wit, um, and they make their escape through a sewer grate that leads to a garbage pile outside of the castle. April and the turtles walk away, not seeing the other former prisoner in the reeds. And they land in quote unquote mud. Mm -hmm. like this was yeah. a out the shoot. This was a sewer grate. Yes, yeah. it clearly was supposed to be butt mud. The the poopies. <laughs> <laughs> it was doo doo butter. Yeah, but one of them actually mentioned like it, it's a good thing we only landed in mud. Yeah, they wanted to make sure. Yeah, that yeah. Kids didn't think it was, shit. <laughs> it was even though kids love that. Yeah, <laughs> kids would have found it hilarious. hilarious. Thank goodness we avoided the poop pile. All right. All right, that's gross. We live in a sewer. The next morning at a nearby village, Mikey awakes a prisoner in a storage hut. Meanwhile, in the woods, the turtles draw attention to their turtle erections and enjoy <laughs> nature. So what the fuck? Yeah. April turns her pants into short shorts. Yes. Yeah. Um, and Showing. yeah, they're, they're just really enticed by her legs. Yeah, swing. They do the wings. Legorama, I think they said. Legorama. Legorama, yeah. yeah. And they say swing, which is a... Sp For those of you who are too young yeah. to know what this is, this is from Wayne's World. A little Canadian named Mike Myers. Yes. And they say schwing, which is the sound that your erection makes when it gets hard very quickly. Very quickly. In a so it's like Looney schwing. Tunes type. Yes. yes. So the turtles mm. were saying they were getting very fast, hard erections. <laughs> Looking at her legs, their friend, who they've known for years. Yes. So, Probably seen her legs. And she, I still don't understand the problem, you guys. What we, what, what's, what's the, what's so let, the... <laughs> let's all imagine these turtle erections, shall we? Let's take a moment. Yeah, no, but it is interesting. Because if... Oh, but, no, go ahead, please. I, I am. Oh, I was, you are waiting. No, go ahead. I was just going to say that uh, Wayne and Garth on Wayne's World would say they're this phrase, but they never... I, I don't... I doubt they were getting actual erections at no. the time. It no, it was their way of time. saying how it was much special effects. Yeah. yeah, but they would. <laughs> was this they would jump, they would, but yeah. their crotch would jut <laughs> up. Yeah, they they thrust their yeah. crotch. Yeah, yeah. Children, kids. Yeah, yeah was, we never was actually not saw. disconnected from the physical motion of. It's that. just the, the stupid '90s way of saying that's hot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She's bonerific. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
So, uh, yeah, they're at that point, they're attacked by a group of the rebels. The other prisoner jumps out. Wit jumps out to help them, and the fight is paused when the leader, the woman from the movie's first scene, sees that they're turtles like Mikey. She's a badass. But, yeah, and she takes off. Like, so everybody's standing around. Then she takes the helmet off, and they're like, oh. <laughs> Just rem- I don't know if you remember from the great Muppet caper. Mm-hmm. Fozzie and Kermit are twins. Yeah. yeah. The guy's like, I don't see it. Fozzie takes off his hat. <laughs> oh, these hats. Anytime they put hats on the turtles' heads that had to come off, they were so wobbly. Yeah. yeah. But nobody knows it's a turtle with a hat on. Right. Fedora. Samurai He's a big human being. Yeah, exactly. We're so bulky. Oh, yeah. Just... Built like a cannonball. You you did yeah, say. Good point. So were the honor guard that weight? Uh... Apparently. <laughs> yeah, they were big. Um, you did say something quickly about um, them appreciating nature. Uh, it was uh, yeah. mostly rough. I, I wanted to, uh, it was worth addressing. I wrote it down. Um, it smells Raphael. so fresh. Uh, yeah, it smells so fresh. It's so clean. No and tires. It, and no it looked darkness. great. It looked like a, a paradise for a, a mutant <laughs> turtle. The waterfall in the background and the, the clean stream slash pond. Eco warrior message. Yeah, his little totally. Greta Thurm, very it's cool. like, this yeah. is way better than no dead our face, subway no lair. Yeah. yeah, I mean, to be fair, how long do you think until they got sick of no TV and no pizza? Yeah. 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 They are kids. Yeah. Um, so, uh, they accompany Mitsu back to her village. When they arrive, the village is being burned down by Walker's men. God damn. Walker. <laughs> well, his name is Walker. I know. It's and hilarious. that's, that's probably historically accurate, you know, but yeah, I mean, you know, that, that name could have been. It could have been it's anything. It's just funny that he's so, just a Walker. Yeah. In, in that time, a lot of, somebody. a lot of people were named after like the jobs their they trade, had. Or their father's trade. Um, yeah. John's son. Potter, uh, my name Weber, uh, was German for Weaver. Oh, really? Uh, huh. Yeah. Oh, I um, thought you were frog people. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so we were so whiskey testers and goblins. <laughs> <laughs> this this guy's family is just known for walking. Yeah, just America. walking, just walking around. <laughs> well, speed, well, this one found a boat. <laughs> speed walking, in fact. <laughs> he invented that. <laughs> His grandfather was the uh, speed walking champion of Sussex, of Sussex. Uh, back in <laughs> Avon over 1537. <laughs> he walked his way to Japan. He was like, oh, you know English. This is how we do it. He just, oh. I don't know why I'm Pennsylvania Dutch. Yeah, Pennsylvania Dutch. <laughs> Tis no bar in English. Uh, the, yeah, the turtles and the rebels fight Walker's men. And Mikey is led out by a pair of Walker soldiers. Accidentally. Walkers. <laughs> if they were zombies, this would have been so bad. <laughs> Walker is forced to retreat, and Michelangelo then saves a uh, young boy named Yoshi from the fire. Who it turns out is Mitsu's brother. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. So he's, yeah, Mitsu was cool. So he's standing at that window, which has no glass... Or any sort, anything, no glass. anything blocking the window on the first floor, and, <laughs> yeah. and then he goes back. And then he goes the back room. into the room behind him instead of simply jumping, jumping out, out the window, window <laughs> the five feet to the ground. See, he should have had like a pet or something. It should yeah. have been him carrying a dog and uh, the Ninja Turtle carrying the boy and his the, dog. The whole yelling at the yeah. window. Only works when you're on the second or above <laughs> floor. Right. True. You can't also jump out. Yeah. yeah, just get out, kid. Just get out. Just jump out. Thank God just those just white guys landed in Japan <laughs> to set everybody straight. Right. God, how uh, did they manage? Uh, um, then Leonardo saves his life by doing CPR. Wow, yeah, from he, the future, he invented man. Yeah. CPR. Mikey makes a <laughs> M- Mikey makes a uh, backdraft reference. He says, oh, Kurt, yeah. he says, Kurt Russell, eat your heart out after oh, he wow. saves the, oh. the child. He calls so he calls Walker Clint Eastwood for some reason. Yeah. yeah. That's what he's reminded of. Oh, because he's riding that. the horse. He's that's riding the horse. He's, he's on the, the horse. And he's yeah, and he's the like, hail rider. Yeah, don't you know Westerns are over or something? Yeah, yeah. which is weird. Yeah. Yeah. It was a whole weird conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Walker. You know that it's the 1600s. <laughs> right? And everyone, Whoa. when they make these references, look at them like, oh, oh you turtles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kurt Russell. Yeah, like, that joke was <laughs> yeah, hilarious. No, at my expense. Yeah. Not like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> like you're spouting gibberish. You're a fucking turtle. <laughs> um, so I was watching when 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 uh, Leonardo was doing the CPR. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just a weird turtle mouth going and taking over his entire. <laughs> yeah. Face. Well, Kids first of all, that's face. been debunked. If you ever have to do CPR, don't blow into somebody's mouth. It does absolutely nothing. But yeah, and he his um his pumps were off, but his hands were so gigantic. How did he not crush that little well, sternum? And the, and the CPR rules have changed so many times yeah. uh-huh. since then. It was just funny to see right. that it was. Never. That would have never been correct at any point. No. And he he blew for a little CPR, while. Like, then he stopped. Then he yeah. Five but but they were like making a point that like he's doing CPR right because yeah. he's from the future. Yeah. Yes. He, it was yeah. It's like when Marty McFly. Yeah. They yeah. thought it was witchcraft, but it was right. CPR. Yeah, yeah. They should have done a better job of doing it. <laughs> no. Poor, that, that poor kid's well, face disappeared. And I'm, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm pretty sure the last time I got <laughs> certified, I think it was three to one. I think is the compression to to you, breath. I think you still breathe after clearing the airway and all that stuff. But you clear the airway, yeah, yeah and it, obviously, yeah. But yeah, it just inflates the lungs. Yeah. So it doesn't get them going. Hmm. Um, it doesn't exhale. Back at the castle, Norinaga, now frightened of the turtles who he believes are demons, offers silver and silk for guns, <laughs> but Walker wants gold. I want gold. Texas gold. And he yeah. shows <laughs> he shows the the parchment with the turtles. Yep. Yes, um, this parchment, which again, which, I has never explained. And, and he says that um, these demons had uh, defeated his ancestors, I forget how long ago. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, now they're back for him. Yes. He believes. And but, it's yeah. funny that the white, the, again, the British guy was explaining that because demons are very big in Asian cultures, you know, especially in Korea, but Japan too. There's, you know, Ghosts and demons to represent almost every little thing, but yeah, it's this white the, explorer that's the explorer. samurai masks are uh, masks are oh, demon masks exactly yeah. <laughs> meant to instill fear. Right. So like okay, so I mean, if the turtles had been like a supernatural creature, I could maybe buy that. Like there were other weird supernatural turtle creatures in the past. Maybe it's a stretch that there were four of them with the colors, but right, they were created by nuclear goo that accidentally fell off a truck. Yes. There is nothing to connect these turtles to any sort of mythology or past. They're from New York City. The rat is from Japan. Yes, <laughs> yes. The turtles were so were New no York history. were New York turtles that yeah. that rat happened upon. Unless we find out dun, dun, dun. the actual secret of the ooze. <laughs> That uh, I don't know that, <laughs> oh, uh, that they did have a purpose. I was uh, it was every word. It wasn't just an accident. They were reincarnated. Blah blah blah. Right. Well, um, maybe when yep, Turtles yep. Four comes out. <laughs> well, the, yeah, this guy did take time on the script. But you're right. Why not but, just flesh that out a little bit? Yeah, they they were never an accident after all. It was the, all about the, creating mystery. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I suppose, but, uh, or just confusion. <laughs> but on a parchment, yeah, like like Al's saying, like maybe if there was like a sculpture or a relief on a yeah, relief sculpture on the temple or some kind of thing. But yeah, a parchment that survived for like when generations. Was, yeah, it, yeah, this is the 1600s. When was that made? Yeah, very odd. Yeah. Um, sewing confusion is one of the uh, tenets of. Uh, uh, Sun Tzu and the the art of war. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So um. the director was just. <laughs> so the turtles knew. Yes, of course. Yeah. He, yeah. The 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 writer was it the the writer and the director the same person? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the writer and director. So he, this, he this read was, he read the art of war. Just well, they're before. sort of the same person. <laughs> Feudal <laughs> Japan. Is they were in two ground. different points in time, but because they weigh the same. <laughs> The writer and, this, and the director switch. This is an auteur's <laughs> vision. I feel like it kind of is. Um, I'm not oh, defending it, but I think this guy had ideas. Yeah, <laughs> no, he <true>. definitely <laughs> did. I like. What the, I think the real secret of the ooze is to rinse and repeat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, penicillin. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, Norinaga refuses to pay gold. Yeah. <laughs> Turtles, oh, fuck your noise. <laughs> too rich for my blood. The turtles spend some time in the village learning to ride horses. Donatello concocts a plan to have the replica scepter made so they can get back home. Yeah. And then, yeah, April's like, Donatello's making an incredibly arcane time machine. <laughs> right. It's like, is there another kind? Right. Yeah. yeah. Is there another kind? He has go, no chips. Go straight forward. Don't go arcane. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Make uh, the, it more. <laughs> yeah. 
But they they reassure her that they're not the ones that are making it. It's that blacksmith guy, yeah, who will actually be making it. Peter Dinklage <laughs> from uh, from uh, Infinity War, my hand making Stormbreaker. Yeah, that, it felt just like that. Yeah. Uh, Wit tries to convince April to take him back to the 90s. So, yeah, again, what? Like, I thought this was going to go somewhere. Yeah. Uh, in New York, the samurai. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Is this where this happened? They revolutionized the shower scene. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, talking. That was where this happened. Yeah, yeah they're totally um, dressed, taking a shower. <laughs> it's like we, oh, need, yeah. we need a shower scene. Oh, it's for kids. Yeah, no problem. She just walks up. There was just <laughs> some water her hair. trickling off the building or something. Or was it or an a actual tree or something? Yeah, I don't yeah, think it, it was a shower, but that's yeah. what it looked like she but, was yeah, doing. And Wits talking to her. And, yeah, so with, bizarre. Yeah, Such a with her clothes movie. on. Yeah, like wow, they yeah. Never before have we seen a shower scene like that. <laughs> it's like our Marco Polo game we were talking about. Uh, in, in New York, the samurai want to go home immediately. But Casey Jones distracts them with hockey on TV. Splinter is beginning to worry about running out of time. Back in Japan, Michelangelo tries to bake a pizza. Raphael teaches Yoshi an important lesson about kites. So he's <laughs> he's tossing the he's showing the guy he's tossing the dough right. um, for the next pizza I presume, mm-hmm. um, and it's nice and thin. It's a it's a big New York style um, sized pizza, nice and thin crust. Yeah. But the pizza he takes out is a black and deep dish. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it was like two and inches thick. like a Chicago at, style at pizza least, yeah, uh, that yeah. was left in too long. It would have been yeah. cool if he was successful. That would have been fun. And then yeah. showing all the village kids pizza. That would have been yeah. And they were all like, yeah, yeah, yeah pizza, you know. But, but instead it was just like, this is a, it's a Frisbee. It's all he eats, but he can't this pull it off. lacked in the fun department, I it think, did. was a serious it, issue. Yeah, it right. really yeah. did. Like, there wasn't yeah. like a lot of hijinks. Yeah. yeah. Could have been wackier. <laughs> like his, I don't say that all that often. Like, no, but <laughs> his, yeah, I think it was this dude. His lesson I'm about gonna, violence, I'm gonna find this the kite lesson, was incredibly Fucking boring. That yeah. was oh my god! Like, it really it was. was. Your child in a f- violent feudal culture. And was, talking turtle, you don't have shit to say. Yeah, it was Raphael <laughs> doing the the preaching on this. Who one. is incredibly like, violent? Yeah. Well, well, and he makes that point like I can't believe I'm saying this. He's yeah. like I'm so violent myself, but but yeah, no, like that's true. Like so many things were thought yeah. through and weird, and were plot points, and were character development. But like right. why yeah, it's though? Not like, arbitrary. But it's about fucking turtles traveling through time. What I mean, the fuck, guys? I, I, I think the Casey Jones thing that that's arbitrary, but most of this stuff was very deliberate. Yeah. <laughs> well, and like. So did that kid have a dad? He had a grandfather. Yeah, I assume yeah, the dad like, died in a war or something. Yeah, <laughs> and she was yeah. died at twenty five, like <laughs> right. everyone. Yeah, yeah he's true. Yeah, he, he could have died from stubbing cholera. his toe. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, it's like all these white people brought the plague with them. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us English. Uh, um, Lord Naranaga finally accepts Walker's price to purchase guns and cannons for gold while oh. Walker paints on the beach. All right, I've been waiting to say this. It's time to fucking out Walker. Dude had one cannon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is yeah. some scamming shit. Like, don't yeah. come to the beach, Emperor. But trust me, <laughs> my cannons can stop. What? what? Stop what? what? Okay, one yeah. cannon. And I would like to point out that the weapons they had... Mm-hmm were 19th century flintlock rifles. Yes. Yeah. Not 16th century. Yeah. Not, not muzzle loading. 17th century yeah. um, uh, muskets. Black, yeah, right. black rifle or black powder. Well, flintlock are black pi- but, powder but rifles, not, but, but not muzzle very loading. different. Yeah, they are was, muzzle loading. Too. Isn't it? They are. Flintlock oh. rifles are muzzle loading, and there's a... Um, but they they are... You don't need the whole, like, They're 200 years later. Thing. They're, yeah. they're a very different technology. Interesting. Right. And yeah. one small cannon. And what was the can? Was it to defend the beach, or to stop marauding? To why, sh- why he wanted the weapons to shoot a turtle? I th- it was just to kill the villagers for some reason. We never yeah. really understood. So they weren't why. working out a deal before the turtle uh, showed up. Like we never really figured out why he wanted these weapons to subdue these villagers. Like what the whole so thing was about. A cannon He's already is, the emperor. is really an effective threat. Sure. As a weapon, it's not really as effective as a like in practice because you're like, I'm gonna blow up your village. Even in the climax, well, of yeah, this? yeah, yeah. He and, shoots it one shot. Yeah, I mean, fucking turtle ducks. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's it, well because I mean it takes a lot. You have to up. like you have to really like use the shit out, of, especially if you only have one. Uh-huh. 
So, I mean, it's such a weird... It's a weird right, thing. yeah. Like, One cannon doesn't do anything. Yeah. You're supposed to bombard, and you time the cannonballs yeah, so it's, that they shoot in succession. It's the threat of like the said, cannon one, itself. One, yeah. Oh, here comes a giant lead ball. Everybody run. Well, and it's, it's <laughs> kind of... Get out of the way. I mean, at that time, it'd be terror, too, because you don't know where it's coming from. Right. Just yeah. from the ocean, just yeah. from the coast. All right. So oh, weird. The, the, the thing... But I saw no threat yeah. to the, the emperor. The thing about the weapons... Okay, so in, in the 1600s, they didn't have um, rifled boars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, to keep the the um, the projectile um, going spinning, straight, yeah. straight, spinning straight and at a longer distance, mm-hmm. they essentially were like shotgun blasts. Yeah, yeah. it was more like the uh, the co- the trumpet yeah. looking. Yeah. Yes, yeah, muskets. And, yeah. yeah, that was and the that early was, cannons would actually almost like those in cartoons, like it would yeah. splinter at the end yeah. after it's been. So shot. that was the main difference yeah. in technology, and the ones they were shooting were 19th century rifle <laughs> bore <laughs> flintlock rifles, right on wheels. Oh no, not the cannons, the actual rifles oh, they the were rifles holding. Oh, the rifles they were holding. Yes, yes, yes. Gotcha. I imagine but there yeah. was something and they about were the cannons. Were all, too, it, but... it was like he was training them all of a sudden, but they were his crew or you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, no. It was sort of they... like the scene in like well, in lots of movies, but say the Mandalorian or whatever, yeah. you know, teaching the village how to fight before the bad guys show up. And yeah. This is the guy who arrived on the island trying to swindle gold with his mercenaries and weapons yeah well yeah and like so yeah lord but noronaga wants the, wants the rifles but like then he never actually gives them to noronaga's men nobody uses the rifles in the final battle right yeah I don't see no. yeah they get scared and run away from the turtles Dude's afraid of a wet willy well and i wanted to point out that they surrounded the turtles with well i guess we'll get to that at the end we'll get <laughs> to right, that right, at the end right, all right so, so here we go what's okay. your sign <laughs> um so then uh um, but Mikey comforts Mitsu, who misses Kenshin, revealing that he's her boyfriend. He buzzed my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the present, Casey teaches the honor guard to play hockey. In the past? And they think it's all about fighting. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have their, <laughs> it's a gentleman's sport. They're standing there. Um, he's like, he's being the goaltender. Mm-hmm. And they just drop their sticks and start punching each other. <laughs> each other. Well, and he, he looks at <laughs> yeah. them and then says, so they're Canadians as well. Okay, I can work with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember that joke as a kid. I love that scene. Yeah. That's, yeah. I like Casey. Um, but he's not doing anything. No, he has nothing to do, which is why like, he's what? Also, sitting, what, what is he rat? doing? What is he, what is happening with that character in this right? movie? He's just trying to distract him, just trying to keep him keep him uh, light, watch splinters with the Which is fine and all, do. but then why is he also lit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's a we're not different gonna, why. Yeah, yeah definitely. What is happening with this character in this movie? <laughs> in the past, Walker and Norinaga seal the deal with a kiss. <laughs> and Walker suggests Norinaga kills all the villagers and turtles rather than taking prisoners. So did anybody else have an emotional response when the scepter fell on the well? Oh my god! I thought the movie was gonna be over. I was like, all right, they got the scepter. We're on our way. They're gonna get back in time. Falls in the well. I'm like, fuck. There's probably 20 more minutes now. <laughs> I was, I did. I was, oh, it was just and, me and the dogs. But I was like, no, not the. Oh, fuck. What is wrong with those fucking turtles? Yeah. It only just like a, assholes. They only have four fingers. They're teenagers. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. It only just occurred to me that. Um, it was Mikey and Raphael that were involved in the the dropping of the the scepter. Yeah, and they were fighting over it. Later, they but later they were the ones who wanted to stay behind. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, foreshadowing, um, purposeful. Yeah, yeah. or uh, subconscious. Yeah. Subconscious. subconscious. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah, they they drop the. Uh, Saboteur. So the yeah. time machine they just made. <laughs> they yeah. just made. <laughs> right. mm. They just made it. Whoops. <laughs> they knew how. Um, so uh, back. Oh, whoops. Somehow, back in the present, Splinter can sense the danger they're <laughs> in. Wait. So did did they just create a paradox? They just created a second time machine. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean, it would. Wait a happen. minute. Yeah, <laughs> well, that means but somebody it, has to have an, uh, but one it, of their. But it was yeah. destroyed. Scepters. Yeah, it has to be the same scepter at two different points in time. Right. So, so if that you was make the, your own scepter. There's nobody in, holding that in time it, holding your. It wouldn't have worked. Right. It wouldn't have worked. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. 
Just figured. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <you're> right. Because <laughs> they'd have to be holding. Because if you have to weigh the same as the person, it's it, got to be the same scepter, it's right? It's got to be. Yeah. The so, scepter connected to itself in time. Right. Because that the, little thing starts spinning. The like other part of their plan Edison that they didn't that they didn't mention was they were going to uh, send a letter to. Splinter uh, via Western Union. <laughs> He's uh, not or, supposed to open it. Until... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, like, where's to, Splinter? Bum, to, He's at the bum, 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 bum. telling him to Splinter's go. Splinter's at the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. Telling him to go to the flea market and buy that other scepter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, get that from one. that guy. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's oh, Indiana God. Jones. But, yeah. yeah. So since they dropped Orcs. it in that that uh, that well, right. It's just there. It's just in from that the well. 1600s well, we heard on. it crash and break. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's it's Did destroyed. We? <laughs> I was probably uh, crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, the scepter. So right after oh, it drops fuck. in the well, Mitsu informs that them that Lord Norinaga has agreed to purchase Walker's guns and will attack the village in the morning. How did yeah. she get this information? I don't know. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> oh, you Ooh. won't believe this shit. <laughs> Off and off. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Look at this. Watch out. Coming in the morning with guns. Get your grits on. <laughs> I'm Walker. <laughs> However, when Raphael sneaks off to visit Yoshi. Get your grits on. Do people know. say that? I no, I don't remember that ever. I don't know. There was kiss my grits, but yeah. even that was before <laughs> the Get turtles. Get your grits on. Make me breakfast. <laughs> Get your grits on. I'm coming on. in the morning. I think I just made it up. <laughs> I want However, grits. when Raphael sneaks off to visit Nobody Yoshi. Can that be the new show slogan? <laughs> Get, Get your, your grits, grits on. Grits on. With, ma- harm, with harmless phosphorescence. <laughs> I'll, I'll make some stickers. Let's do a breakfast event. Let's do it. Uh, um, when Raphael... <laughs> Sneaks off to visit Yoshi. He's surprised to find the original scepter in the child's possession. Well, <laughs> hidden in the floorboards. Um, R- Raphael, he, <laughs> he tells Yoshi to go up in the mountains and play during the battle. Yeah. He's like, take your friends, go up in the mountains yeah. and play no matter what happens. Right. Um, and then he then he finds, or uh, Yoshi uh, reveals the, that he found the, the scepter. Yeah, he says, he, yeah. Yeah, just like a white guy. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> no, that kid hid it. <laughs> you didn't and find shit. So they immediately blame Mitsu. Mm-hmm. Um, and they say, um, if the scepter, w- if we didn't have possession of the scepter, we'd be forced to stay and fight. Yes. Right. And then the grandfather says, re- it was me. Reveals that it was yeah. his idea to hide it from them. So you they fools. would stay and fight. Yeah. It was me all along. <laughs> yes. Old gram- yeah. oh, grandpa Japanese man. <laughs> you listen to old rats, but not old men. Um, then suddenly, Wit betrays everybody and captures Mitsu, forces them to give him the scepter, and rides off to the castle. Yeah. So Dude, he, was- he totally had a free ride to New York. Right. Yeah. Well, to meet up with himself. Agent. He could I kept expecting him and Casey to trade places. Something. Yeah. Yeah, because they weigh the same. But why would Casey How Jones long would be was he in that dungeon in waiting Japan? for something I don't to know. help Walker out with? Okay, that's arguable. Because um Case, Casey Jones, uh he um Brian said that Casey would have been miserable in Japan. But mm. Casey wanted to come back. He was disappointed because he wanted to go back and fight. Oh, he, that's true. He would have been miserable not watching sports on TV. Yeah. Yeah. But he would have had a lot of fighting to do. And That's he, true. And he could have taught everybody hockey. Yeah. 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 Just like Walker taught them all English in those ESL <laughs> classes that he was running before the cannons scheme. Um, yeah. <laughs> Casey could have taught them Brooklynese. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm walking here. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bada bing. <laughs> what is this coming to America? Teaching, teaching them all to swear. Oh, stripes. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Harold Ramis. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> Norinaga confronts Mitsu, accuses her of kidnapping her son. She denies it, telling him that Kenshin is on a magic journey. <laughs> he kidnapped her words, himself. Yeah. Magic She's journey. Like, Look, I know what's going on. <laughs> and that Walker has the scepter. Walker denies it. And then immediately goes to Wit, who has the scepter. <laughs> mm. Turns out was a spy f- for him all along. April is captured as a distraction while the turtles sneak into the castle and rescue Mitsu from the dungeon, um, along with some other prisoners who they apparently released from the cages 
but not the dungeon at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> now you can decorate it how you want. The turtles pretend to be cats. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Down in the sewer grate, they start making meowing noises, and the the oh. dungeon master. <laughs> yeah, no, call him um, that. Because <laughs> because she tells him to get a real job. <laughs> He like dumps Ankle. some slop through the the grate. That doesn't even go in the grate. <laughs> it doesn't even it just go sits through. On top, yeah. Um, as if like to feed these cats that he's I don't keeping know. down or there or what? <laughs> Was he just throwing out the garbage? Who knows? No, but Hal's right. He sort of he's delights calm. in it. He's All of a sudden, he's involved in the. But there weren't cats before because it's the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all of a sudden he's feeding these. Yeah, and he thinks that was it's hilarious. Oh, kitties! <laughs> <laughs> After rescuing Mitsu, the tur- <laughs> turtles see the scroll that had them on it, yeah. and they're like, "Hey, it's they us. weren't supposed to." Yeah. And, and they then say, they start fading away, like in Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck does this mean? Oh right? no, my brother! <laughs> yeah, they they don't. Like, they're not confused by it at all. They're yeah. like, oh, hey, it's yeah. us through time. We were created by accident, even Fucking more so radical. than most people. They, they're, this is, again, paradox. Yeah. yeah. Like, whoa, how did yeah. how did they know we were coming? Right. right. This should cause some sort of mistake. Yeah, you're not what supposed these, to learn too much about it. What are these your... turtles on this parchment? It's, yeah. It drives me out what of my mind. prophecy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Frustrating. Uh, um. Mitsu wants to fight Norinaga personally, but the turtles intervene and a battle commences between them and Norinaga's soldiers. And Norinaga is trapped in a Dalek or Dalek or something, doesn't it? Look <laughs> oh, that's, just that's like, oh, that's later. Oh, that's, that's a little later. later. Yeah. 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 Okay. Looks just like one. Um, <laughs> the turtles free the prisoners from the dungeon, then finally, <laughs> who join the bat- <laughs> battling Norinaga's men. And then the rebels storm the castle. Uh, Don and Leo exchange a high foot. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Which looked pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty um, badass. That was a, They're still doing some well, pretty awesome like gymnastic yeah. stuff. Yeah, the stunt, yeah, yeah. The, the the stunts are good. The the Her able body, the the, the fighting in the, the, the suits were suits. fully articulated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The suits seemed much more mobile. Yeah, yeah. Well, Except the, the weird, faces, snappy faces. <laughs> oh no, those faces moved very quickly. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, they they just yeah, the look terrifying. They were so unsynced to yeah. the to, to the voices this oh, time. That's true, yeah. So terribly Especially unsynced. Corey Feldman, so. I well, and I also have to wonder, like, because I mean, obviously, like they had the script. Someone was saying it on the set, moving the mouth right. to the words. I have to wonder, like, how much rewriting was done afterwards <laughs> to yeah, make it fit. True. Yeah, because that's why I said Corey Feldman, because he speaks very animatedly as an actor. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't synced up to Donatello's mouth. Not at all. Um. So uh, then at that point, uh, Leo uh, battles Norinaga in a one-on-one sword duel, cuts off his hair, and traps him <laughs> inside of a bell that looks like a doll. It looks just like it looks like Wayne yeah. Newton. Yeah, yeah he's <laughs> yeah. Wayne Newton. Uh, um, the, the little shame. top knot. Yeah. 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 Um, so honorable. Yeah, well, and Donatello gets out, like, both of his uh, swords, and it's like he's going to gonna do a dooku on him. Leonardo, yeah. you mean? Oh, yeah, Leonardo, yeah. Um, Walker's men show up with guns. Wit decides. <laughs> with a gun. Well, no, with yeah. a, a cannon and a bunch of small I know, guns. but it's so great is that it, we we glance over it, but there was paperwork involved in this cannon exchange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He stamped yeah. it, and, like, they he, signed. He even says, like, ready the paperwork, or ready the papers. <laughs> right. What is, like. He's like, sorry, you bought the cannon. He's like, I heard multiple cannons. No, no. No, no. I specifically said cannon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, Chevy Nova. Uh, Walker has April. Um, and yeah, the white guys show up with their guns. Uh, and Walker says to the turtle, he's like, my God, who's your tailor? And they look at each other. And Mikey says, we're naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> yeah. Uh, such a stupid joke. Yeah, <laughs> my tailor. Yeah. Everyone has yeah. one outfit. It's sixteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my grandmother. She gave this to me when I was a. <laughs> hey, how long yeah. it is to make a suit? How yeah. long it takes? You're an arms dealer in ancient Japan. What sort of tailor do you have, Walker? <laughs> Running around with his birdcage and shit. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, Walker tries to kill Donatello with the cannon. Donatello oh, pulls his head. Leonardo. Or Leonardo with the cannon. Leonardo pulls his head into the shell, and the cannonball misses him. Well, before that, um, Walker orders them all shot. 
um, by his cronies. Mm -hmm. And um, Wit says that wasn't part of the deal, and he's ordered shot too. But then Leo bluffs, um, he tries to bluff that they're demons and okay. that the bullets will bounce back, and he's taunting Walker's like, why don't you take the first shot? You shoot Cause us. He, yeah, because he won't. It's like, you shoot us. And he challenges Walker to take the first shot, and that's when Walker's like, okay, I'll use the cannon. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I would like to point out that his this men... wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> part of yeah. the his <laughs> men, deal. His men surround them and are in a circle... <laughs> <laughs> like, so many of his own men are going to get shot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is a. Uh, yeah. All they have to do is jump up. <laughs> yeah. Like the true. Toxic Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that the first time we saw a turtle go in his turtly shell? Uh, I don't think in the other movies they did. did they? I think uh, we saw it once in the, we? the last movie. <laughs> it's as rare as a penguin funeral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so yeah then that Walker is so freaked out that he and his men run away <laughs> <laughs> because they're yeah. turtles yeah. did you not giant <laughs> turtle turtle talking turtle fighting turtle being a turtle no way that's <laughs> right <laughs> and we got another I love being a turtle yeah. as he's like <laughs> collapsed inside <laughs> his body so right <laughs> like, like the opposite of a swing. Yeah, he's like, I'm <laughs> smushing all my <laughs> internal <laughs> organs. It retreats back inside <laughs> itself. <laughs> Turtling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's definitely Turtling, the opposite yeah, of a exactly. swing. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Walker takes the scepter, tries to escape to his boat, but he's cornered <laughs> by the turtles at the dock. But he decides to oh. take a bird cage with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. What's with the bird? The canary. There were well, two, or he's yeah, up on the wall. Like finches, yeah. Like he's on the top birds, of the wall. Yeah, or whatever. Um, yeah, he, so he, he goes back for the scepter and he realizes this is pet birds. <laughs> um, our shoulder's like, oh, I almost forgot. And he grabs him. And they chase him. <laughs> the man <laughs> loves his birds. <laughs> uh, the, they chase him across the roof and onto the castle wall. <laughs> Um, Walker tosses the scepter into the air uh, for a distraction as he starts to like he grabs the rope. Yes, uh, to to rope down. Um, and he's forgotten his birds again. So <laughs> as he's starting to climb down, he's like, "Oh, not again!" He has to reach for the cage. If you're the kind of guy that carries a bird cage with you, right? How do you forget it? <laughs> it doesn't make any damn yeah. sense. Um, and then Wit <clears throat> Wit launches a catapult. A fireball. Uh, a fireball. A much more effective he weapon. He launches a fireball from a catapult, which uh, knocks the pulley over. It doesn't hit uh, Walker, but it knocks the, the pulley that the rope is on. Right. And then Walker plunges into the sea below. Which, I, if you notice, like, it wasn't a bad special effect for 1993, I guess. But, Until he disappeared in the water. But he falls, <laughs> and then right as he hits the water, he just disappears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because someone his same weight was falling <laughs> hundreds of years later. <laughs> yeah, uh, Walker. Yeah. And I'm sure it was production budget shit, but that was a very medieval European castle. That was not like a yeah. Shinto temple. No. There was none of those in there. It was a big the village stone kind castle. Of, yeah, yeah, it was a big stone. Um, Keep... Well, and I noticed that all of the uh, cages that the prisoners were hanging in mm -hmm. were just, um, they were supposed to look like bamboo, but they were just painted PVC pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. That's hilarious. The explorers yeah. brought many treasures from, from their faraway lands. Spray cans. <laughs> and PVC. Um, the turtles are, um, at, then are ready to return to their own time, but Mikey wants to stay because of Mitsu and having to live in a sewer. What like like so? There suddenly he's like into Mitsu, like yeah, that happened, yeah, that, nowhere. that came that did come out of nowhere. Yeah, they didn't realize well, that he had a, he was crushing on her. And her <laughs> boyfriend's gonna come back, right? She's like, yeah. dude, I have a That's boyfriend, right. and you're a turtle. Well, and you're keeping my boyfriend from coming back. <laughs> I, I guess you weigh the same. And, <laughs> and so at least I know what it would feel like <laughs> if you were on me. But <laughs> if you were on well, me, <laughs> okay. <laughs> To clarify, turtle. To clarify, <laughs> weight wise, not so much texture. What about to, flavor? To clarify, it's April who weighs the same as. Uh, oh Prince shit! Kenshin. That's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh, get her right involved. They're the honor guard. <laughs> oh shit! Um, <laughs> just before uh, April had a. Um, 
a line, a cute line. It's like, hey guys, we have an we have an egg timer to catch. The, yeah. the egg timer. Yeah, the uh, thing comes thing back. Comes yeah. back. Um, but Raphael, he also wants to say stay because mm-hmm. he says people appreciate us here. Right. You know, he's, he's finally getting the press yeah. he wants. Leo starts to consider it. Um, yeah. He's, he's, he's thinking about it too. He is uh, getting the press that he wants because <laughs> he found that scroll that with them <laughs> on it. <laughs> he's like, look, we're in the paper. <laughs> the villagers all love us. <laughs> yeah. We're the but, toast why, of the you town. know, wouldn't the turtles have been? Ha- I feel like they may have lived happier lives if they'd stayed. They they, I think so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. It's a uh, pair of shredder though. in the foot already. April definitely wants to go back, and Donatello, pizza, you're right. he wants to go back um, well, because I, he says he can't live without microchips. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. He so, the so, chip. I'm finally still, smart. Still, <laughs> 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 wicked smart. <laughs> wicked smart. How you like them apples? Yeah, you know, if they had been able to convince Donatello, because the samurai guys wanted to stay in the future. Yeah. 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 And then just. Oh, yeah, April, they totally did. They were playing video April games. April and Kenshin mm-hmm. could have just switched and everyone would have been happy. Yeah. Yeah. But no. 25 more years of turtle shit. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the honor guard. Piled on us. The honor guard, they wanted to, they were hanging out at the bar. Uh, yeah. They were drinking they, beer. They were playing golden tea and just fucking um, ripping it up. <laughs> right. No, no. And they, no, they did. They said, we're ready to go back. Not. Not yeah. They were like five investment uh, bakers on a Friday. So so they were um <laughs> partying in the bar. It was uh <clears throat> Kenshin, he started to he activated the the scepter a little early uh mm-hmm. before the honor guard were around. They were still at the bar. Um <laughs> luckily it took a while. <clears throat> yeah, it, luckily it did Splinter uh I think he like tells him to I don't know how he controls it, but Splinter mm-hmm. tells him like, he no, tells, not yet. He we says have to it's wait not for heroic, the others. right? He says uh, going without the others would be cowardly. Um, but the others are, the, are at the bar with Casey, and two of them are dancing to Tarzan Boy by Baltimore. Oh, oh yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is that is that the yeah. one that's like oh, oh, oh yes oh, oh the one that was in the Listerine oh, commercial oh, where the Listerine oh, bottle swung oh, through the jungle oh, oh yeah <laughs> why do I remember that because it's a Listerine bottle swinging through the jungle no, I, of course I mean, you remember that I mean, forget it, that I mean was, compared to important shit. <laughs> it was when Listerine went purple yeah, that's right. Grape Listerine. <laughs> mm, they totally should have stayed. Or at the very least brought back like a, a semi-automatic gun of some kind. And been like, yo, Walker's about to get bounced out of here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to uh, save this village once and for right, all. Exactly. <laughs> One cannon so, having motherfucker. Yeah. So, so, an Uzi. so they do the switch, but Michelangelo just misses it. Um, Raf, at this point, he uh, before they uh, do the switcheroo, um, he tells Yoshi to keep his temper. Yeah. Yes, she's uh, like I'm so, just a kid, dude. Uh, Raphael's like like <laughs> learning Japan. from Raphael's learning from We're himself. All soldiers, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Raphael's becoming a uh, better man. Mikey gives <laughs> Mitsu a nunchuck to keep for uh, sentimentality. Yeah, yeah. it's like, like yeah, we invented these, but whoa, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. All I can Bra- think just one, just one, yeah, just one, yeah. yeah. Just a chuck. Something to remember me by? Yeah. Yeah. A single chuck. This a memento. Single rod. Of, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm totally going to forget well, the six no, foot turtle. Two ro- it's two, <laughs> two rods, rods on a string. Yeah. Kinky. Or a chain. <laughs> Showing. Uh, anyways. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, they, the Michael Andrew just misses. Um, they all, the honor guard switch back. Um, but Mikey then apparently activates the scepter in the past and swaps places with the last honor guard as the honor guard's running out. Or did the yeah, honor guard it's... activate it? Uh, I assume. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it could have been. Mm. Could have been either one. Like my karaoke mm. song's coming up. Because. <laughs> 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 but um, and then the the scepter's all burned out. Yeah, like it's been <laughs> overloaded. Weird. Yeah, just to make sure we know that there's not going to be any more time traveling shenanigans. So how do they get back 200 years before 1609? Do... How? <laughs> how? Well, so, what? Okay, I have another theory. So what if it uh, splintered them into multiple turtles throughout time? Oh, it's oh. A, is it a multiverse uh, kind yeah, of deal? Now there's a multiverse of Ninja Turtles. A multi-turtleverse? Right. Yeah. yeah. Kind of the way ba- the, Banner explains. The yeah. turtleverse. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you didn't change your past or future. Uh, that, there's another one now. They may have shown up multiple places 
I keep doing hand motions. I know we're on the right. <laughs> no, I'm into it, bro. Yeah. It helps. But it's it's Ninja Turtles all the way down. All yeah. the way down. Oh, oh man. God. They were, uh, they were there at the beginning. It's Ninja Turtles. The beginning one team, time. one dream. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> so this way was the first this. superhero movie with time travel in it. Yes, it was. Oh. It's our first time oh. travel movie. We're not going to get a time Yeah, I guess you're right. Superman didn't I mean, he made... It made yeah, he, yeah. He we did make it go that. back. No, but, but you're right. Really but he didn't time, time travel. Because we even brought that up. Yeah. yeah. Like, he should have seen as yeah. himself. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I don't know, really understand the mechanics of how that one worked. Yeah. yeah. No, only Nor Richard, this one. Only Richard Donner knows. Richard. So then back in the past, Kenshin and the Honor Guard show back up, and Noronaga, does he trip and fall, or does he bow before them? I couldn't figure it he, out. He kneels. He kneels? Yeah. Um, and then, <laughs> then but, Mitsu and Kenshin. Ken, sh- Kenshin gives Mitsu the scepter. Yes. Um, and then uh, Mitsu gives it back to Noronaga. Yes. And then everybody's cool. Yeah, they're just cool. <laughs> they're just fine now. It's they're not going to fight anymore. No. And the two lovers I share a fight no more a, forever. A dip and a kiss. <laughs> as as uh, smoking a pancake. And the honor guard slink by in their underwear. Yeah, yeah. very uh, embarrassed to be seen in their underwear. Again like, in their underwear because like, they had to strip down before they did the the right. jump. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm doing the hand things too. Yeah, see, well, we all do. Folks at home have no idea. Audience of one, you guys. I'm hand, into it. How much hand work goes into this? those poor Arnor guards, though, man? They fu- they Dude. saw what life, you know. They they saw oh, what God, they yeah. saw ladies' night, you know. Yeah, <laughs> right? They, they saw 25 cent shots. They experienced yeah. karaoke. Yeah. yeah, they went to a bar. Video games. I bet oh. there was hockey. I bet like the That's opposite how, of turtles. Yeah. They were so Tubman. mad to be back. That's how the Japanese. Invented oh, karaoke because oh, they oh, saw it in the future. Yeah, that's really. I knew funny. it was invented by white guys karaoke in New York City. I knew it. And video games, both yeah. of them. That's actually kind of a funny yeah, to, to <laughs> think of. The, there's the, the paradoxes. Anci- the, Nintendo has the ancient scrolls <laughs> from 1603, <laughs> and yet the turtle game sucked so bad. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I played it so much though. So did I. I it only, looked great. Well, because I only own four games. <laughs> well, okay, there was that too. <laughs> because they were thirty. Bucks yeah. a piece in 1989. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the kid who's like, Duck Hunt was my favorite. It's the only one I had. Uh, um, so, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, back at home, Michelangelo is depressed ab- over the thought of uh, growing up. <laughs> like, he's <laughs> like, guess. he's like getting older, man. But then Splinter cheers him up by doing an Elvis he, impression. He says, <clears throat> um, he says, I don't think I'll ever laugh again. And then we hear, <laughs> we hear Splinter say, Yo, dude. And he has the lampshade on his head. And he laughs, and Mikey laughs. Just like Elvis, Blue Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Elvis, then the turtles do a dance number <laughs> to, the, line dance, yeah. to the sounds of Technotronic. Mm-hmm. Oh. Rocking over the no, beat. Like, yeah. not, not either of their hits. Yeah. Pump, pump, pump the jam. Yeah, or, no, um, not. Yeah. Or um, some, get your booty on the dance, dance floor. Yeah, some deep cuts from Techno. <laughs> right. Um, all right. There was a fantastic credit that I noted. Horse stunts staged by Danny Virtue. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Danny does great horse stunts. <laughs> stages he them. Stages <laughs> great horse stunts. <laughs> the, stages. Horse, you stand there. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me these horse stunts were staged? <laughs> <They're> staged. <laughs> horse didn't gallop? <laughs> These weren't on the spot horse studs. <laughs> Takes all the movie those magic are, right are, out of the Those film. are professional horses. They work with Danny Virtue. That's how good Danny is, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you can't don't even tell. notice. Can't tell. I thought those were. The guy who voiced Michelangelo, uh, Robbie Rist, in this... In these credits, he had a, a registered trademark yeah. sim- symbol next to his next to his name. Oh, uh, really, the, the circle R. Yeah, he registered his own name. I, I guess. And trademarked yeah, his own was, name, and it's just spelled R I S T. I noticed. Uh, yeah, yeah. R I S T. He's not even like maybe wrist. Robbie. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. gonna try to turn it into a verb. Well, I'm gonna wrist you. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, well, Robbie wrist. It's better than fisting. <laughs> it's wristing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that sounds is more it better, is, is it better? <laughs> well, uh, both are a threat. I mean, <laughs> don't tell me anyone likes it. Either that. way, the wrist is going to get involved at some point. <laughs> I'm, 
I'm sure there's some trivia out there as to was a Muppet. <laughs> why he has the registered trademark. Uh, yeah, the, the circle yeah. R. I don't know yeah. which one that is. Um, but, yeah, it was just very odd. And it wasn't, I don't think he did it in every movie. Um, no, and what's funny is... Probably you know, wasn't just this one either. Legally, but. if if you've created something, you can put the copyright symbol on it without it being filed with the Library of Congress or anything. You, you this can is Robbie just do Rist. That. But r- the <laughs> R, the R is registered. It has to be registered. So that's very yeah. bizarre. Oh, yeah, that's um, cousin cousin Oliver. Oh, that's cousin Oliver. Yeah, cousin Oliver uh, from yeah, the Brady the kid Bunch. Who ruined the Brady Bunch? <laughs> That's like that was the first time. Yeah, that that's was like Robbie shark Rist. jumping. Okay. It was the first time they added a little kid to a show to try to get it to come back to life. Yeah, wow. and everyone wow. hated Cousin Oliver. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sorry, Robbie Rist. I, you're probably listening to this because you don't have a lot of going on. <laughs> I'm gonna tag him when I yeah, promote this should. on Twitter. Oh no, I want to know why he registered. I yeah. ta- I tagged Robbie and Riz. I'm going to start tagging the actors in these movies. Last yeah. week I tagged um, Danny DeVito. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. He might. Nice. He does have a social media presence. But uh, <laughs> what was I just going to say? Uh, just, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we what cover. I don't know why it's 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 registered. We did cover Robbie Wrist when we did the original movie because he he, he voiced was. him in all three movies. Uh, and, and I don't think he was. Do we have to pay every time we say his name. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Maybe I won't tag him. <laughs> Get sued. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, tag him, bro. We've got a whole fleet of attorneys. Come oh, he, at us, Hey, Robbie. hey, he'll come back um, and voice uh, Mon- Mondo Gecko in TMNT 2012. Oh, far uh. <laughs> Like, Robbie Wrist trademarked his name. Meanwhile, Danny Virtue is over here <laughs> <laughs> staging horses. And just, doing great yeah, work. And that's a name. Yeah, Danny. Virtue. We noticed Danny. Yeah, Danny Virtue. <laughs> Wrist. That's that's like a, a Cartoon Network superhero name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Danny Virtue. Um, the horse stager. <laughs> the horse. Do you mean whisper? No, <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys. Um, we got any last thoughts on this? Anything else we want to? We want to grind. Um, we want to. We we want to get our grits into. <laughs> oh yeah, right. I'm glad it's over. I'm glad there aren't any more of these yeah. for a while. Yeah, we won't have to talk to the turtle or talk about the turtles either <laughs> for a while. For a while, we we got some time. Um, oh God, where do they come in? Um, because the 2012 in the, in the one, teens? yeah, the 2012 one is was was the animated one, so we don't get a live action one until 2014. Okay, yeah, was what? that live action? Yeah. Well, well I mean, yes, Will, yes. CGI, Will Arnett CGI, was yeah, mocap and it's it's their CG ant. Oh, that's characters, true. But Will then, Arnett was a real person in yeah. that movie. Yes, <laughs> as much as Will Arnett is a real person <laughs> yeah. in that movie, at it's least. Hard to figure yeah. Out. yeah. Um, the total sidebar. I'm I I just can't believe that we to this day have not gotten uh, uh, Will Arnett and um, Bob Odenkirk playing brothers in anything. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Seriously, Hollywood. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I'm trying Get to picture that. them even. On, yeah, I don't know if they've been in. Because man, those guys look alike. <laughs> yeah, the the athletic and handsome one, and the very clever short one. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we've got to rate this, guys. We've got to put it in the rankings. Where are the other two? Um, well, <laughs> number two is at number fourteen, and right. number one is at number nine. Do we? W- I don't think it can go above number one. I don't think there's a no. chance in hell it goes above number one. No. Um, I don't think that there's... Do we want to put it above or below number two? What's at 13? 13 is Supergirl. I think it goes above two. Oh. Is this Personally, better than Supergirl, though? No. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So. There's a lot I like about Supergirl. Yeah. Um, I like putting this next to the other one and... I think they're it forever. I think they're, yeah, they're just kind of in that same like range. Wow. I can't, yeah. <laughs> Two and three could end up together forever at that point. <laughs> um, um, hmm. I mean, okay, so so if we were to do that, we'd be saying it's better than Howard the Duck. We'd be saying it's better yeah. than Toxic Avenger Part 2. Yeah. The Punisher. Uh-huh. The uh-huh. original Toxic Avenger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm. 
Um, it's yeah, I guess it is better uh, than all of those. It's better than well, three. I did like Toxie two. That also went to <laughs> but, Japan. But Toxie two, like, take that back. <laughs> Toxie <laughs> Toxie two. We have below Howard the Duck, Condor Man, and Hero at Large, oh, and Superman right. versus the no, Mole I'm Man. I'm not looking to change anything. I got no. Is this better than Superman and the Mole Man? No. No. Okay, that's below oh, TMNT wow. three or no, two. Because yeah. I'll tell you, because just the the line yeah. in Mole Men of how did these oranges get on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> they buried those anything. tools. <laughs> they buried tools. Yes, like, <laughs> digging tools. That that movie had better questions than this movie did. I agree. Do we so want that? Does put it below uh, Turtles? Two. Turtles two. Um, so if we put it below uh, Superman and the Mole Men, right below it would be Hero at Large. Uh-huh. Is it better than Hero at Large? I think it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hero, at, Hero at Large was a god awful movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, that movie was You're painful. Right. The a entire slap time. is better than a punch. It was not fun in any way. It was a terrible <laughs> yeah, movie. Yeah. This had, this movie had promise. At least I, I yeah. thought it did. This dude um, sat down and wrote a script. It had a fair and amount of production value. If, like right. you said, if they had uh, upped the hijinks. Yeah, or it the, could have the, been fun. the fun factor. Yeah. Um, it yeah. could have just been a good kids movie. As it was, it still worked for yeah. kids. I loved it as a kid. As well, an adult, I was confused the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> but right. Um, it, yeah. It wasn't for us. But yeah. Like, like I said, I stopped watching this movie at like age 10. But up until then, I watched it consistently. But you did enjoy it then. Yeah. And it was oh, yeah. a fave. I yeah. loved it. All right. Well, All right. So let's put it at it let's put it at number 16, right below Superman and the Mole Men, right above Hero at Large. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. That's TMNT cool. three. It's locked in. <laughs> etched in stone yeah. until, until we have to etch until it, it the phases next one out. In stone. Right. Until the gates of time. Uh, speaking of the next one, we will be back next week talking about the Meteor Man. I'm uh, excited. I know nothing about this. Apparently, yeah. it is the Meteor Man and not okay. Meteor Man. Yep. I, you were yeah. We were talking about the cast recently. It sounds. Fun. Bill um, Cosby. A movie which it is okay. imper- <laughs> it, apparently impossible to watch. So, oh, really? Um, I can't find It's not streaming on any legitimate service. It's not available for rent on any streaming service. It is not available. Well, how are we going to do this? Well, <laughs> we'll figure that out. <laughs> All right. Off mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just travel in time. Yes. Yep. We're going to use yeah. our magical scepter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Schwing. Yeah. Um, it, it, we can buy DVDs of it. You <laughs> so can. There's, there's, okay. I, no, I'm just. <laughs> all right. Good uh, luck, true believers. Yeah. So next week, we will watch Meteor Man and then report back to you <laughs> what that's all about. Uh, this has been Ancient Wuss, Throw Smiley. <laughs> I'm Josh CC. I'm the Japanese Wayne Newton, and my hit single was Arigato. I'm Brian Lesh, and I'll see you again on the next Cosmic Cruise. I'm Al Eric Weber. I'd love to stay in chat, but places to go, people to kill. Thanks, everybody. Bye! Bye. Harmless Phosphorescence was brought to you by executive producer Atticus Burkett, producers Michael Beckwith, Jojo Birchtree, Hedda Paulson, Kirsten Reed and Alyssa Dent, and Katie and Finn Thorpe. Make sure to rate and review us on iTunes, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Harmless Phosphorescence is a part of the Harmless Entertainment Network. Become a patron at patreon.com slash harmless entertainment. Thank you for listening. Hey everybody, Throw from the Harmless Entertainment Network here. Do you like music? I do, and I know a lot of other people that do too, so we decided to start a new show. It's called The Personal History of Sound. Every week I'll invite on a different guest, we'll listen to a different album, and then we'll talk about it. And if you become a patron, you can hear it first at patreon.com slash harmless entertainment. Don't worry though, it'll be coming to a free feed near you soon enough. That's A Personal History of Sound from the Harmless Entertainment Network, coming soon.